What is going on, everybody? We're back, and we're going to build a sealed Phyrexia All Will Be One. All Will Be One deck. Uh, we've got a pre-release kit that was left over because my cousin absolutely flaked on us for the pre-release kit. Pre-release night. And, you know, we moved and all that fun stuff afterwards. So this is the first chance I've gotten to really sit down, record some stuff. This week, we're back on track. We're recording shit. We're getting stuff together. Um, and so I decided, let, let's open this bad boy up. I'm going to put these two aside because we're just going to build um, with the pre-release kit. And if you're watching this on YouTube, definitely stop the video. Scroll down, post in the comments. Tell me what you think we're going to open. What kind of um card are you hoping we open and then uh definitely give the channel a little subscribe rooney if you feel so inclined optimus prime you want me to wait there's no transformers in this set that was the last set this is a non-transformer set uh but if you're watching this on twitch right now uh hello and if you're watching this on YouTube again, uh, hello, but from the past. Also, definitely check out our live streams on Twitch if you're watching this in the future. So let's crack this bad boy. Oh no, it tore really weird. Crack this bad boy open. Ba -ba. All right. So this slides out like so. And then this is kind of garbage. Tiamat. Okay. And we got a purple black die. No expensive spin down today for us. Um, where's my... I keep it out of the Spotify. Okay. What is our foil pack rare going to be? Oh... It is a Malkator Purity Overseer. That's fun. Um, Malkator is a one white and a blue or a one one Phyrexian Elephant Wizard legendary creature. When Malkator enters the battlefield, create a 3-3 three, three colorless Phyrexian Golem artifact creature token. At the beginning of your end step, if you have three or more artifacts entered the battlefield, uh, create another 3-3 three, three colorless Phyrexian Golem artifact creature token. That uh, seems like fun. That seems like fun. Um, then we've got a little card divider. A, a nice little deck box. I like that they give you these for the pre-release kits and stuff, because usually you're like in a store. A uh, little card divider for your sideboard and your main board. And then we've got a little description of the nine spheres of new Phyrexia. Uh, on the back side of that, we've got an instructional uh, paper that tells you how to build a pre-release deck. It's basically just like the general rules and suggestions for how to build sealed decks. Um... We don't need that. We've built our fair share. And then you get um, six draft boosters. And you have to build your deck out of this. Whatever's in these packs is what you get to build from. So we definitely want to take a look at artifacts because our pack rare is an artifact matters creature. Let's open these bad boys up. All right. So I can't remember. Okay, these ones are the normal order. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to place these in color piles. This is how I map out my sealed pools. Place them in colored piles. And then once we've got all of the cards open, then we take a look and see what we have the strongest cards from. We've got green, red, Black, blue, and white. Reverse Wooberg. 
Um, so far, we've got a lot of artifacts in white and red. White and blue, sorry. Uh, Barb Batterfist is pretty cool. The four mirrored and stuff gives us free bodies. We've got Thirsting Roots, Splitter, Aspirant, Sinu Dancer. Ooh, a multicolor card. And we've got Colorless over here. Ooh, we open an Unctus Grand Metatech. No, it's not that order. Angel Bait. Wooberg order or nothing. Uh, so Unctus is a very good open, especially if we're going to play this artifact deck. And then we get a Metal AF Island and a Phyrexian token. That's the order that makes sense. It's not the order of the colors, though. The colors have always been in that order. They're in that order on the back of every card. White, blue, black, red, green. Those Phyrexian lands are twite. Yeah, I know. I got... um. I got a stack of them. Um, the complete edition came with a stack of shiny versions, foil versions. It also came with a full playset of the foil full art lands as well. So now I have a good collection of the shinies and the full arts. Most of which I'm using elsewhere, but. They also came with these guys, which I was going to put. I was building my Pioneer deck for this weekend's qualifier. Um, and I was going to use these lands in my Pioneer deck, but they just lose their specialness the more sleeves you put them in. Mother of Pearl. Okay. So pack one. Looking pretty good for us. Opening that Unctus is pretty good. Alright, let's do pack two. Pack two, we open a Dose, which I like. A Lightbringer. Maze's Mantle. Bolt Charge. Whisper of the Dross. Synthesizer. Color of the Elephant Homie is white blue. Which is the, like, Artifact Matters colors. Uh, Bone Picker Scourge. We get a Cool Land. My favorite Skull Bomb. X Gold Slash. Ooh, we also open an Immobilizer. Our artifacts are looking pretty good. Oh, yes. Okay. So this is really going to help us with our artifacts matter deck this guy gets power equal to the number of artifacts you control and we open a driv nod of course we open a driv nod why wouldn't we why wouldn't we open a mythic black phyrexian horror in our super white blue deck oh hell yeah we got a Dead Karn token as well. Love it. Um, so yeah, that's pretty good. We got a handful of um, more artifacts to go in our deck so far. It's still really early to kind of be picking a lane, but our lane is looking pretty good. We've got uh, Crescendo, Annihilating Glare, Bring the Ending... Gold Warden's Helm, Carnivorous Canopy, Kuldotha Cackler, another Skull Bomb, Anoint with Affliction, Chimney Rabble, Phyrexian Atlas, which is good, Skull Halberd, Distorted Curiosity, Slovak Battle Chair, oh, and we get our Dual Land, On Color Dual, that's pretty amazing. Uh, and then we get a Phyrexian Golem and a Forest. 
That is pretty amazing, actually. So far, everything's coming up Malkator. You put the colorless as blues? Uh, what colorless? Oh, the skull bombs? They're blue color identity. It's got an activated ability that's blue. Um, so they really don't, like... They're only gonna be that next level of usefulness in a blue deck. No, no, it's all good. Good question, good question. We get an infectious inquiry. Ooh, another artifact. Nice, good one. Vanish into eternity. Lattice blade, mantis, molten rebuke, cruel grimnark, axiom engraver, kinsmith, quicksilver fisher, zealot's conviction, exuberant fuseling, expand the sphere, Nahiri's sacrifice. And an Archfiend of the Dross. Great. Good old Archfiend. Um, so we've opened two bonkers black rares. And we get a Rebel and a Mountain. Yeah, I really am underwhelmed at the quality of the art on these. Um... If you look at the digital version, they look really cool. When they were previewing this set, really excited about this um, kind of art style that they're doing with these. But as soon as I opened my first pack, I was just completely underwhelmed with how it, that art transferred to the card. It's just not great. If I can get my camera to stop reading the words underneath these cards. Is there a way to like set up a shortcut on your stream deck to change focus on a camera? Change focus. Change camera focus. Shortcut. Stream deck. Super Mike Magnolia, Super Line Edge. Yeah, it just looks like it should have so much texture and the printing is really flat. Um, controlling camera zoom and focus with Stream Deck. Sorry, I'm just doing production research in the middle of this video. That is not a good answer. I'll look at it. Um, we're spoiled by Ito-san. Yeah, that's definitely fair. Did you see the thought seizes? I Were you here when I was sleeving up my Pioneer deck? I'm using those Junji Ito thought seizes. Because they're the only thought seizes I own. They're worth like $50 already. I paid like... 30 bucks for the full set. Uh, second to last pack, we've got Blade Graft, Aspirant, Testament Bearer, Glistener Seer, Indoctrination Attendant. Our white is a little weak, but it's not too bad. Maybe we can just lean heavy blue. Copper Long Legs, Thrill of Possibility, Blight Belly Rat, Cleansing Raptor, Meld Water, Meld Web Curator. Mirror Custodian. Need any of the ones that I got uh, from the Junji Ito set? Canker Bloom. Ooh, Blade Hold War Whip off colors. Prosthetic Injector. And then we get a Scrub. Defector Might. Hell yeah. Okay. Chia from Ito. Uh, no. I. Like I said, when I open those with you um the only reason i bought them was for the thought seizes um generally you can't buy a thought seize for less than like 40 dollars 30 dollars 
So being able to just to get a thought seize for thirty dollars um, with Junji Ito art on it, no less, um, just made sense. I didn't have to wait. I didn't have to worry about getting bad card quality. Uh, oh, we still have one more pack. Dang, one more pack. Yeah, but now I just feel weird playing with them because they're worth so much. They've just gone up in price every day. Uh, Basilica Shepherd, Prophetic Prism. That might help us splash red a little bit. Adaptive Spore Singer, Free from Flesh, Siphoner, Siphoner. I sounded like uh, the Street Fighter guy. Gataxian Anatomist, a White Fear Land, Green Skull Bomb. Cataxian Raptor, Jawbone Duelist, Font of Progress, Nimrazor Paladin, Vran the Executioner Thane, and a Porcelain Zealot. That is our third Black Legendary Rare. All right. Well, I think what we're going to do is we're going to immediately cut Black. <laughs> I think there's some fun cards in here, but uh, none of these cards play the kind of game we're going for. So we're going to immediately cut black. We're also going to immediately cut green. The question is, is how much do I splash? Can I splash? Um, so let's look through these piles. I'm going to open this at the end because I want to give out the code at the end of the video. So you could skip to the end if you're watching this in the future and try to snipe it. Um, you only got the one mana fix. I think so. So we have Prism, which can fix. Um... We've got Custodian, which can scry for us. Oh, no, we've got Atlas. That gives us mana of any color. Also, we have Convert, which gives us mana of, mana of any color. Um, yeah. So that's pretty good. So let's look through our white and decide what we're going to do. I think Basilica Shepherd is a must because it gives us two mites. Uh, Vanish into Eternity is a must because it's removal. Gold Warden's Helm is kind of soft, to be honest. Um, it's not the greatest. But it might, it might get play. So let's put it there. And then we've got Lightbringer, which wants to be equipped. Reunited is a good combat trick. Um, Sinew Dancer is not too bad. Well, we're actually not going to be doing much poisoning, I don't think. So, uh, Artifact creature. Artifact creature that spits out artifact creatures. Okay. So those are our must-play whites. Not must-play. Should play whites. Pumpkin Wolf, thank you so much for the raid. Uh, I did not hear if the notification went off. I'm so sorry um, if it didn't. Thank you so much. I hope your day is going well. What were you up to? How are you? Hydrate. Okay. Hydrated. A lot of Hollow Knight. Oh, God. That's so good. I am a Dark Souls fan. I'm a masochist as well. Um, and Hollow Knight I played for quite a while, but I kind of bounced off of the first real boss. Um, there was just something like it didn't feel as tight. I didn't feel like I was losing because of my mistakes or anything like that so it just kind of got really frustrating really quickly 
Uh, you're starving. Okay, well, go eat. Go eat. Go eat. Get some food in you. Or beverage if you're going to drink your food. I don't I don't know. Uh, okay, so let's look at our blue. We should play Font of Progress. Ra Raptor's really good. Um... But I think that's going to be a maybe. That's going to be a maybe as well. Maybe. Slurp. Oh, be lurking. Okay. Thank you so much again for the raid. And hello, everyone from Pumpkin Stream. I appreciate you all. I hope you're all having a great day. I hope you all see cute puppies. I hope all of your hands are keeps and all of your opponents mulligan uh okay we're not doing poison skull bombs for sure i guess we could maybe play a counter spell skull bombs yes mesmerizing dose yes unctus yes um i suppose we could have a blue combat trick in there and then We've got Escaped Experiment. Whenever it attacks, target creature and opponent controls gets minus X minus O until end of turn, where X is the number of artifacts you control. It's not the greatest, but it's also not that bad. Um, I redeemed Hydrate. Okay. So those are the must-play blues. Where did I put that pile of white cards? Oh, there it is. Um, and we do have, so all three, all three of our multicolor lands are perfect um, for what we're trying to do and um, in our colors. So that's really cool. I think we're going to try to play all three of them if we can. Theorem Core Chimera is obviously the odd one out a little bit, so that would be our first cut if we need to cut anything. Which means that we should take a look at what we opened in red. And there's a couple of cards that we opened that are very powerful, very good cards. Batter Blade is very good. It's very good just because it's cheap. We could play Sacrifice. We could play Engraver. I think we could play Rebuke. Um, Chimney Rabble, no. Shendo, maybe? No. Volt Charge. Three damage to any target proliferate. And then we've got a Volshock Splitter. So for those less familiar with um, sealed or limited magic, you're basically trying to build a 23 card deck with 17 or so lands. We do have some land fixing. Or some mana fixing. So we could technically go down to 16 lands. Uh, we have a beautiful dual land. And we have both of our main colors in the spheres. Spheres? I said that weird. Um, but yeah, this is pretty... Let me just organize this a tiny bit. Then we'll open the, uh, dang it. We'll open the Malkator in a second once we've counted down our cards. And we'll let someone try to snag the, uh, re-release code. If you haven't, uh, used the pre-release code on your account, you'll get, you know, six free draft boosters of Phyrexia. All will be one. Um, yeah, let me just take a quick photograph for the social. Oh, this light is too much for taking photographs.
Huzzah! Light back on. Okay. So what do we have? Lands aside. We have four, seven, ten, thirteen, fifteen. 20, 2, 4, 5, 28. We're pretty close, actually. We're pretty close. We're probably going to do 24 cards. But Malkator is 1. We have 28, which means we need to cut 4 cards. I think these are staying... I do think Serum Core Chimera is a little bad. I think Volshock Splitter and Batter Fist. If we just do red interaction, I think that's pretty good. So that's three. So we just need to cut one more. Hmm. I do not love the helm. It is, though, our only piece of equipment. Oh, no. We have the blade hold war whip. War whip. Cool whip. Orange whip. Orange whip. Three orange whips. Um, I'm thinking either... I'm thinking either Vanish or Helm. Um, I'm thinking we keep Vanish. And we Vanish the Helm. So let's just lay this out and have another look. We've got Malkator, Purity Overseer, and actually we can do this by cost. Three, two, three, four, five, two. One. I think this is a fun deck. I I had a lot of fun in our pre-release event at my place, but I think I would have had a lot of fun playing this one as well. This looks great. What do you think? What are you thinking? I'm thinking that looks pretty dang good. All right. So that is our sealed deck. Let me open up Malkator. We'll let someone try to snag this. Damn, that mana scale is sexy. Yeah, it's not bad. The curve is pretty good. The curve is pretty good. So we've got our Malkator. Pretty awesome little deck we've got here. I am quite a fan. If you're watching this on YouTube, thank you so much for sticking around and watching this video, watching us make this fun deck. Um, I like playing Limited Magic, and I think it's always a nice little brain teaser to try to put the best thing you can together. I think this deck would play really fun, just so... Um, 
just so you know, we, we like to do sealed content on the channel. We like to do it digitally. We like to do it physically. Um, but we're always open for uh, deck building questions or considerations. If you've got anything you want us to take a look at, if you're in the middle of a draft and you want to send us a, a deck um, to try to see what makes the final cuts, um, definitely feel free to reach out. I am at Wyatt Fawcett on Twitter or at ERPMTG on Instagram. And I will leave you with one final thank you and put this arena code right here for you. Um, try to redeem it. If not, uh, someone else already has. And again, thank you so much for watching this.